Hello, Evan Rand here to playing Farming Simulator 17 on Missouri, Mississippi, Ohio River Basin map. Continuing to plant on field two here, working on planting oats here. Got the uh, Ford ahead of us there with the other cedar, using the uh, Bergolt cedars here. And what is that, you know, 23 meters wide, so nice uh, wide cedar here. Looks like maybe one more pass for each cedar and we'll have this uh, field complete. Just uh, doing a little bit here uh, myself. The uh, field should be completely plowed. And then uh, this episode here, hopefully once we get this done, we need to get uh, our big cornfield there fertilized. Got the uh, sprayer out there. We'll probably just uh, hire him and see what's, what kind of damage he'll do. And then also plan on maybe trying to get the animals fed here. And then we'll uh, fast forward time through the night and hopefully our cornfield will be about ready to be chopped. So uh, maybe as early as next episode here, we'll be uh, looking into uh, doing some corn chopping or at least setting up to get started doing some corn chopping. Like I said, I've never done any uh, multi or multiple courses with or multiple vehicles with a chopping course. So be something a little bit new there. I've obviously run multiple choppers before. That's not particularly new, but I've never I don't think I've ever done it with course play. So. That should be a little bit new. We'll see once how it goes. See once what uh, kind of trouble we can get into. You know, obviously, probably one of the big differences there with a chopper, we're going to want to have more unloading vehicles than choppers running, just so we can keep the choppers running as much as possible. So that might make things interesting. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. As for choppers, probably going to go with the uh, John Deere choppers there. A couple people uh, suggested that. Uh, try out the big John Deere choppers. Which, uh, thinking about it, I think I neglected to uh, activate those when I started the uh, save game here. So I don't think they're in the save game yet. I'll have to remember to do that uh, next time we start. But, uh, yeah, probably saw a couple of John Deere 8800 series choppers. Thinking we'll probably at least run four of them. Wouldn't mind maybe trying to go for eight, but uh, we'll see once. Again, like I said, I've never done this before, so I'm not entirely sure what kind of level of dirt to expect from uh, course play. I'm sure it'll be, uh, you know, quite spectacular given uh, what course play is capable of doing sometimes. Uh, speaking of uh, course play, by the way, again, I am running developer version of course play, currently version dot zero 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 sixty. So for those of you wondering what version I'm running probably a week or two old now at this point. I don't remember exactly the last time I updated here. Again, developer version of course, but it updates almost daily. Um, sometimes even a couple times a day it's updated. Basically being that constantly worked on there. Uh, it is available on the GitHub, by the way. And you can find a link for that in the mod list. Link to the mod list is in the uh, description. Oop. A little slow on the lowering there. I guess it'll blend in with what the rest of the hired workers done there. Again, I don't quite get why there's nothing for collisions around this field anymore, not, especially now that we took the trees away and the hired workers still don't plant right to the edge. Oh well, not the end of the world. But yeah, almost uh, perfect here. We'll just have to make sure we stop the other cedar here once he gets to the end. Also, I think this uh, big bun needs a little more horsepower yet. I'm pretty sure that Ford is going quite a bit faster than us. So even though, at least per the shop, the big bud has quite a bit more horsepower, apparently the uh, monitor has modded it, so the Ford actually has a little bit more. So yeah, you can see this big bud's struggling just a little bit to pull this uh, planter here. Seven miles an hour, as I'm guessing it could probably be pulled at 10. Just assuming, not entirely sure. And then, yeah, as we start going up the hill here, too, the uh, big bud tends to slow down a little more yet.
And he's also turned around. Let's uh, stop him here quick a minute. Like I said, we'll just uh, finish this last little pass here ourselves. You know, the two forwards here, kind of hard to decide which one I like better. They both look uh, kind of nice here, a little bit uh, different uh, color scheme on each one. Although you definitely have the uh, common blue here. Anyway, let's uh, finish planting here, back to the Big Bud 450. And just a reminder here, too, by the way, for anybody that would like to play Farming Simulator multiplayer with us, you can find that information in the description there for the uh, TeamSpeak server. So just uh, make sure you join us on TeamSpeak. And uh, once you're on there, you get all the information for actually joining the Farming Simulator multiplayer servers. Again, like I said, that information's in the description. Anyway, we'll uh, read a few comments here in a moment. Uh... Blob was saying would be perfect if Pure Farming 2018 had soil physics. Uh, again, my response to that is we'll obviously have to wait and see what's, what's actually in the released copy of the game here. You know, the only thing we've seen to this point has been either early access or preview, so not entirely sure what the final version of the game looks like. You know, obviously, I think you got a pretty good idea at this point, but... Uh, North was saying playing on broad acres seemed to be getting a huge amount of lag. Uh, I got better as I played though. And is there any setting I can use to maybe reduce the lag? At this point, I'm not sure yet. Uh, looking into that myself here, yes, definitely a very laggy map. Uh, even more so than Corn Belt was. Uh, Corn Belt was surprisingly not too bad. But uh, yeah, broad acres here definitely proven to be a lot worse than that uh, so far. We'll have to uh, continue. We'll, we'll give it some more tries here. Again, for those of you following the channel here, playing Broad Acres for the multiplayer series here at the moment. That is a 16x map. It's an Australian-based map. And it is one ginormous, humongous map. But uh, at the same time, too, we're also having some uh, technical difficulties with it. Uh, started out with the fact that the save game was not saving. So we lost all our progress to this point, which really wasn't that much, really, I don't think. It's still a little bit of a disappointment that it wasn't saving for some reason. That's actually not the first time I've seen that happen. It's usually caused by mod problems, mod conflicts. Uh, we deactivated most of the mods on the server. That seems to have solved the problem, because we did uh, check again here. And uh, at least at this point, it is saving the game, so that's good. Okay, that field should be all set. We got everything off the field at the moment. Let's head over to 19, 24, and 25 here. Just check here. Am I going to have to run this with course play? I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to. Oh, maybe not. Okay, we are actually good except for the narrow strip here. I was thinking there was another strip here yet. Nope. Okay, we should be good then. I don't know if we want to, but yeah, let's, we'll just skip that narrow strip. No sense doing that, I don't think, unless this course play ends up in the right spot. I wonder if it does. Well, let's just maybe check this out here a minute, because if we can, well, why not, right? If we tell course play to maybe start here on this line going the direction we're looking here, Then we should be able to uh, fertilize that missing section there. Pretty sure the uh, missing section's grown here, so that should do the trick, hopefully. Uh, Blue Fleet was saying you should bring back the old DB120 there for planting. 
I guess uh, my question then is how old the DB120? Because the original DB120 was really bad uh, for seed usage and did not hold much. Uh, then we went to the really OP uh, DB120 that held way too much, but then also still used way too much. Uh, just my opinion there. A very, very poor fix by the mod author. You know, rather than actually fixing the seed usage, they just increased the storage. It's like, why did you not fix the seed usage? That's the problem, not the storage. So now the uh, DB120 we have now, uh, if you ask me, the mod author kind of went the opposite way. He fixed the seed usage and, and fertilizer usage, by the way. So I should say seed and fertilizer usage. So he fixed both of those. It's a lot better, at least more reasonable if you ask me. But then he uh, knocked down the storage a little too much if you ask me. So it doesn't hold enough. It doesn't last very long. Or either that, the usage is still a little high. Either one. But yeah, that seems like we can't quite win with the DB120. Goes from one extreme to the other extreme to... Eh, it's, it's okay at the moment, I guess you could say. And the only problem with going back to the old DB120 is it costs a bloody awful fortune to fill it and use it. So, at least if you're using the new one, it doesn't cost you quite as much to, you know, fill it and use it, hired workers, all that good stuff. Oh, you know what? I probably could have started them on the next line over. Oh, well, close enough. Not going to hurt. Anyway, let's see what's what the animals are going to need here. And for that, let's grab one of the trucks here. I think I got them all lined up over here. Don't remember if I got all the trucks back or not. I guess we'll find out. We'll just uh, take this one here. From loading the chaff here, I was looking at the uh, tippers I have available. Uh, let's see, tippers. I was thinking we might give... Let's see, where is it here a minute? Pretty sure, yes. The uh, Meyer boss here, try. This seems like a kind of a good forage wagon, if you ask me. Our forage trailer. Pulled behind the uh, trucks there. We could possibly use tractors as well, but I was thinking, you know, for a big operation like this, seems like this would be the more appropriate choice. So that's what I'm thinking of going with for the uh, tippers there. And then, as I mentioned, either episode or episode before, I don't remember which one, I plan on setting up a Silo King. You know, exactly the same thing we got here. And I'm going to have course play empty into the Silo King. And then from the Silo King, we can fill the bunkers. That way, I don't have to sit here creating courses for every single bunker. You know, so, okay, well, bunker one's full. Now i got to switch over to a course that'll fill bunker two. Switch over to course that'll fill bunker three, and, you know, so on and so forth. I can just have one course from the field to the Silo King. And then uh, we'll see what's how far we make it here. But then we can uh, probably set up some sort of course to go from the Silo King to the bunkers. Well, let's see what's what we all need here. I think we actually need everything. Uh, we're doing okay on straw. Let's see, what do we actually need? Yeah, we pretty much need everything. So we'll start with grass and silage. Oh, wait, do we have silage? I know we're getting, like, really low on silage here. Unless I'm not mistaken, I don't think that one takes hay. We got all kinds of hay. And I don't think it takes hay. I know there's some that will, but... We can just find out here a minute. Oh, where's our hay in storage? Ah, there it is. See, like I said, we got plenty of hay. What was that 1.6 million? Won't be running out of hay anytime soon. Look out, dog. Took care of the uh, dog for you there, cat. I think we ran him over. Uh, I take it that means... Still find this annoying here. Uh, the game extension mod uses the same key for unloading as it does for its commands. I take it that means hay is not accepted there, which is kind of what I suspected. Still have a uh, silage in the mixer yet there, though. I suppose we could use that. 
I said, I think I might be out in the uh, fermenting silos there. sure we don't get too close to the uh, phrase E with the manure there. We'll probably try to fill our trailer up. Okay, how much do we have in here? Uh, it's a big fat zero. That's what I thought. Nope. But we still have 124,000 silage in here yet. Again, this is supposed to make mixed rations. But uh, as you know... Uh, it doesn't. It makes silage. Pretty impressive if you ask me. You put silage in, you get silage out, right? Well, actually, you put a little grass in, you put a little straw in, and you still get silage out. Rather amusing. Not really, but... It does make me question what was wrong with the uh, mod author. And again, I, I do have to make the distinction here. Uh, do you blame the mod author, or was there something uh, between the mod author and, you know, something else going on? You know, did someone steal the mod? Did someone release it when they shouldn't have? You know, is the mod site you got it from leaving off some information, such as maybe it's beta release, something like that? Y you never know. That's kind of the one problem with that, so, you know, Got to be careful you don't be too quick to blame the mod author all the time. Because, you know, sometimes it's not necessarily the mod author's fault. He may have still been working on it yet. And some low-life scumbag may have, you know, like... I don't, I don't know if steal will be the right word, but they, they basically released it when they shouldn't have. And again, unfortunately, you do see uh, way, way too much of that here for a uh, farming simulator. I know I get uh, quite a few comments from a lot of people saying that the uh, mod situation here from uh, Farming Simulator 17 has become quite deplorable. Uh, I would have to agree to some extent. There's still a lot of good mod authors out there. They're still making mods. Uh, they're just not releasing them like they used to. Uh, in fact, it seems like a lot of the monitors have now gone to Facebook. So, which, I don't know, is not quite as nice if you ask me if they've gone to Facebook. Not that I necessarily like some of the uh, mod websites out there either, but uh, at least they are a little bit easier to get and download mods from. Versus, you know, trying to find them on Facebook and uh, all that good stuff and trying to follow all the different mod authors. A little bit uh, ridiculous if you ask me too, but. Again, too, I'm not necessarily sure how going to Facebook fixes the whole uh, situation either. Okay, it's just a different platform. Does that really help? I don't know. Uh, Dabbage, I was saying when I was fertilizing crops, I still needed 20 hired workers, and it still took forever on broad acres. Yes, I would highly suggest if you haven't checked it out, you should definitely come join us on the multiplayer server on Broad Acres just to see the size of the map. Uh, again, we've taken most of the mods off, so other than the map itself, it shouldn't be that large of a download for the mods. Whoa. I never had that happen. <laughs> wow. Oh, good. At least it flips back over, though. can't say I've ever jackknifed it that hard that it's actually folded under. I have, don't think I've ever seen that. At least I've never done it anyway, I don't think. May have seen it, but... Uh also, I don't know what was uh, causing the lag around the main farmyard here, but as you notice, I mean, it's still not perfect, but it's a lot better than what it was. 
So I don't know what's changed. I mean, we were getting like, you know, 15, 20 frames, and now we're 30 to 40, which is a lot better. That's at least playable. So yeah, I'm not really sure what's changed around here. If I, if it just cleared itself up, maybe, or don't really know. Uh, the William was saying yesterday when I tested and played on Broad Acres on the server, uh, my ping was up around 200 all the time. Game was very laggy. Never had such problems before. Again, seems to be a lot of problems with the uh, 16x map there. And we were pretty much aware of that when we started, by the way, for those of you wondering. So we were kind of uh, expecting troubles. Okay, why? Oh, I got silage in here. Yeah, I thought it completely emptied. That is why I cannot load. Why did you not uh, completely empty that? Is it full? No, it's not full. Okay. Well, let's see if we can uh, completely empty out here then. Uh, Ethan was saying, good job. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Jeffrey was saying, oh dear, I'm never going to live that down. He said he's never had so much fun harvesting three crops in one field. Uh, talking about uh, Thomas McConsell's comment there, by the way, from last episode. Uh, AJ was saying a 16x map, my favorite, bigger the better. Yeah, if it worked, I would have to agree with you. Uh, it doesn't seem like Farming Simulator, though, is really capable of handling 16x maps. Uh, just from experience, I would say they were actually more playable back in 15 than they have been in 17 here so far. Now, I guess Giants, I guessing they probably uh, don't feel that we need to have 16 next maps if I had to guess okay let's see what's anything else the cows need here probably should hook the water up again and they could probably use some grass which we are out of so let me just bring a little straw here quick Rogue was saying thank you for your tips and guides. Well, thank you very much for that. Bradley was saying, hey. Oh, great. The uh, sprayer finished. Did he uh, get that missing section? Oh, he did. Perfect. Look at that. A little bit there. I'm not going to worry about that. A little bit uh, funny spot there, too. That's rather interesting. That uh, field looks like it is fully fertilized, ready to be chopped. Got to get uh, another application of fertilizer on field two yet there as well at some point. Let's see what's here. Do I have a hitch on this truck? I don't know if I do or not. But if we do, we can fill up this water tank here. No, I don't think there's a hitch on this truck, is there? Nope. Don't remember if there's an option for that either with this truck. I don't recall that, so. Oh, we'll just uh, grab the Challenger over here. Hook that up to the water tank in a minute. 
again, it's mostly an automated watering system here. The only thing is you do have to go push R to refill the water tank every now and then. And then, you know, I've mentioned this before as well. It'd be pretty cool if you asked me if Farming Simulator actually adds the ability for automated systems for uh, feeding the animals here in uh, Farming Simulator. It'd be a rather cool feature to add in 19 if you ask me. But uh, basically, you know, a feature where, yes, you're going to have to start out feeding the animals manually. But, uh, you know, once you have the money for it, you can pay for upgrade systems that will automatically feed the animals. You know, you, you'll still have to, you know, provide the straw, the hay grass that type of thing and all that stuff but uh you know you once you have uh the systems purchased you know, you know just charge you for them and you don't have to sit you're doing all the manual work all the time i think that'd be rather a cool feature to add if you ask me okay let's see what's here. good there let's get that uh lieb sprayer off the field And might as well, maybe we'll just uh, bring him down to field two here. And at this uh, point as well, for those of you who are wondering what my thoughts are for this uh, game, how much longer we're going to continue playing on the map, well, for those of you who probably know, Pure Farming 2018 is supposed to be coming out next week. And uh, when it does, I think we're going to probably finish this map, and uh, maybe we're going to go play Pure Farming 2018 for just a little bit there. And then we'll, uh, we'll probably keep the multiplayer series going on Farming Simulator, but... Uh, I think our single player, we're probably going to go play some single player Pure Farming at 2018 for a little bit. Again, it's supposed to be coming out uh, March 13th, I believe it is. So just a couple more days here. Also, the Europa DLC is supposed to be coming out in a couple more days as well. Rather interesting when that uh, comes out. Anyway, on that note, uh, if you folks have any comments or questions, uh, be sure to uh, leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.